Hi, my name's Christine Whitehead. I'm from the Maharishi School. We've been a Google for Education school since September 2016. Um, we have a one-to-one -one ratio of Chromebooks throughout our school from reception through to year 11. Um, with the school uh, converting across to the Google platform, we've seen a, a huge increase in IT being used within the classrooms and the decrease in paper trail and loss of paper and printing costs um, throughout the school. I just want to show you a couple of ways that we actually use the Google Classroom components. Uh, before COVID hit, we were using Google Classroom mainly for homework to be um, accessed and submitted uh, on that platform. But as soon as uh, we went into lockdown, we just opened up the classrooms to online uh, classrooms. We have managed to um, stay to our school timetables throughout the whole of COVID. So our children have not missed um, any of their classes. They go from one classroom to another um, in and out of Google Meets with the teachers um, to for their, for their subjects. Um, we also offer in our classrooms, um, we use it for Dra Dungeons and Dragons for our students. Um, our teacher does the Dungeons and Dragons for the Duke of Edinburgh skills component. So our children are still hitting their uh, requirements for Duke of Edinburgh. Uh, we also, our exam officer, she is using it for um, the distribution of all the literature that the students need to be able to read and have access and the teachers to make sure that they hit their deadlines and for notifications for the exam boards. Uh, we also have um, our intervention classrooms on top of our regular classrooms uh, so that um, our students uh, are having one-to-one -one sessions as well with with other staff members when they come out of classes to have catch-up lessons. Uh, we use it also mainly uh, for, for admin. We administer it for um, forms that need to be completed. So our end of year record cards, they get completed. Uh, we create a Google form. We issue it out via the classroom for that particular subject. The student then uh, accesses that form, completes their component, and submits it. The teacher then commits, uh, does their component, and uh, it then comes back to the, to the office for us to do a mail merge and print it off. Previously to that, it used to be we printed off all the sheets, which is about 650 sheets for our secondary phase. Um, and the students would have to handwrite those, then the teacher would then have to handwrite their component, and then uh, the office would have to uh, manually uh, assemble all the one each child's um, different report for each subject. Uh, that would take days, if not weeks, to compile it and photocopy it all. Uh, now we can do it at a click of a button and within an under an hour all the reports are all printed off and are pre-filtered um, pre and put into their into their clusters of their name groups so we can make sure that the, you know, they all go out to the right person and there's no uh, GDPR breach. Um, we also use um, shared drives, um, how we've use that at our school uh, particularly for um, you know day-to-day -day communications and sharing of information to staff uh, we also use it for our supply staff that come in to cover our teachers uh, the teachers are obviously required to um, we ask for them to supply work for the supply staff to cover them if they're off ill or, or off for a period of time or for training. Uh, so we've created shared drives, which I will now show you. So as you can see over here on the left hand side here, we have, uh, so this is just, just our primary school uh, that I'm actually showing you. So reception year one through to year six, uh, for uh, their um, for their su supply, so the, the supply teacher has a logon, a generic logon for that particular year group that they're covering. 
uh, when they log on, they then have access to this shared, this particular shared drive of the year group that they're actually covering. And not only does the teacher have the supply teacher, the teacher of that year group, the TA of that year group, and the administration team and senior management all have access to that shared drive. So at any one point, um, anyone can step in, make photocopies, um, and, uh, and know exactly what we're doing for that particular year group on that day. So within one of these uh, folders, this is how a teacher would submit their work. Um, so a teacher would actually say, okay, I'm gonna be off on the 4th or the 5th. Um, and within that, the teacher, let me just go into that. The teacher will have got the plan of the day um, with exactly the timings that, that will happen within that class, um, and their break times as such, and then within each folder will actually be for the subjects that they're doing on that day um, is all the handouts that they need to print off um, or um, PowerPoint, uh, Google slide presentations that to put up onto the board. So there's a quick snapshot of how we implement Google at our school. Um, it's not just how we, we not the only parts that we use it for, but it has made um, our school and particularly the administration office um, quite slick in how we uh, we use the system now. Uh, very few of us are on um, Windows machines anymore, um, and we're embracing it completely. And we uh, the the calendar has been a godsend because uh, our school, even though we're one through school, we are actually on two different sites. So the logistics of making sure that one site uh, transfers that information to the other site, having that on that uh, cloud-based uh, sharing system has made it a lot easier um, and it's always always available and obviously during COVID we have been working from home in certain instances and some people are in some people are at home but they can access all this information at anywhere they are I've even done it on holidays I'm afraid <laughs> so <laughs> thank you very much for listening <laughs>